Let me move this big piece of brick. I don't know. What is up, you guys? Welcome. It's dry. It's actually freezing outside, but I take my clothes off for you guys. This is how we do it. Not all my clothes. I'll terrify some of you out there. Runny nose, check. Winter time, check. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty Hoy. You're watching Bemis, your source for alternative, hopefully original, Lego compatible brick KO, whatever you want to call it, man. That's what I'm here for. Real quickly, for you guys overseas in the States, man, I'm praying for you guys. Please be safe and everyone else out there in the world, especially the virus right now. Man, we're off to a good start for 2021. But seriously, be safe there. Hopefully my videos will keep you entertained. Thank you so much for still ordering on the store. This and all the other sets that you've seen in all the videos, well, most of them should be or are available on my store. BreakMeUpScotty.com So I know I've been super busy with the store, busy with the kids. I want to try to get more videos out to you guys. I'm going to try to do this a little bit different, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can make this workflow a little bit faster. I'm going to use the new DJI Pocket 2. This was a gift for me, and I figured someone gifted me this. Why don't I use it? And I can possibly get the video out faster to you guys. So we'll, you know, we'll throw this in the set, see how it holds up. So this is now two of four. I'm continuing the Zingbao Europa lines. You guys like the last one so much, I decided to do this one next. Sets are building up behind me that need to be reviewed. I'll get to those soon. We'll start with this one first. So we don't need to explain anything, right? We're just gonna jump right into this review. Review, 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 review. So this is Singbao's Europa series, the modulars. This is the grocery store, XB01009, 4,215 pieces. I like how this building blocks my face. Here's the manual, and just like the last one, has all the little details on the inside. You know, I'll save that for you guys. You guys know what this looks like already. But of course, mine one was torn. No, why'd you tear it, Singbao? Oh, it's not worth anything now. I'm gonna tear it a little bit more like that. Oh, that hurts ya. Okay, it's paper, man, it's material. I don't get another one. For this particular build, first of all, it is not a grocery store. I don't know why they called it a grocery store. This is like the bookstore 2.0. Remember the old thing about one of my most popular videos? You guys are still watching that. And surprisingly, no one really hasn't been buying it. Maybe all you guys bought it already. I still think it's available and it's still a pretty cool set. This set actually kind of grew on me. I, you know, when I was doing the first floor, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I really like how the colors are down there. But now that it's all fully built, it, it's better than I expected. So that's good. No real issues with it. It's pretty sturdy. It's not perfect. There are some, like, you know, you'll see along the way. And it looks like to me on the bottom floor, they used the colors from the Diagon Alley. They saw the Harry Potter set. And I think it's almost very similar, like the orange and the pink and the green. It's like, hey, let's take those colors. I make it in a shop. I can tell you right now, there's no groceries in here. Ding bell, man. Why do you have to call it a grocery store? Okay, we'll start on this front first, because there's two fronts. The pink is kind of a crazy pink there. Yay for pink. Now, it's, oh, it's a little bit kind of crazy on the bottom floor. It's really funny, when I'm looking at these monitors, like the wide shot that you see here, hey, it looks okay. See the close up there? What a mess, man. Maybe a little bit too much colors? Maybe not. Maybe it's that green chain with the butterflies. That might have been a little bit overkill, but you're welcome to take off the butterflies. If you go on my Instagram, I'll put my social media on the description. You can see it there. There's a picture of this being built on the first floor without the butterflies. Look fine without them. And just like the flower shop, the only sticker that it really is on here is this one. That says book on the corner there on both sides. Everything else that you see are printed. Yes. The thing that is not perfect on here are the two flowers on the front. There's no studs holding them down. Dude, where's the quality control on this thing, man? Doesn't your team like look at this stuff and go, okay, there's no studs holding it down. We're just at least in the pot. So now they're just gonna dance. Dancing flowers. Yeah, that's the other thing too. So grocery store, not. It's a donut shop, cake shop. I do like the display there. I like the cakes underneath and the cups on top. And this right here is actually kind of a cool idea how they did that. They just put this piece on the door. It looks like a Christmas decoration. I was like, oh, that's cool. We have the regular street lamp there. And this is like another little small shop. And there's a little post box here with a bird on top. Then we come to this loose piece right here. You saw that 
with chandeliers. So just like the flowers, they could have used some work on there or maybe put an extra stud there to hold that water fountain down. Nice, cool little piece to have there. Comes off pretty easy. You know, got a couple studs here. So you can put your figures there. Overall, nice feel. Some loose bricks here. You need to kind of line these up. Easy fix. There's a Nikon camera. Hey, Nikon. Thank you, Nikon, for always sponsoring my video. Look at my dry hands, man. While we're right here, let's just look at the second floor. This is kind of like the flower shop. It's all one by twos. So I do like how they use some of the masonry bricks here, but a couple of pieces were not the same bricks. But luckily, the fronts were the same pattern, but the backs were different. Maybe they just ran out. Got this little balcony here that's really short. Uh, this plant is kind of weird, though. And uh, this one was a little bit loose. Dang, bow plant, man. Loose plants. This one on the upper floor was a little bit better. Yeah, so the plant is not that great. I like the little flowers on the awning. Those are cute. They use these little hook pieces for a different kind of look. You got a sign right there. Donuts. Desserts. Printed. I was actually missing a window piece here. Where's my window piece? Where did it go? Seems to be missing window pieces on even the flower shop. Did you guys even notice that? Like a couple of my sets, I have been missing window panels, but no one's ever called me out on it. Then we come up to the third floor, which is repeating the second floor. Repeat. Oh, the balcony is slightly bigger there with the flower. You got room to put your minifigures on both, which is good. Yeah, damn. This is so cool. I can go, wee wee You like that? wee Yeah. Ying Bao always does that. They hang one piece by the stud there. And I think this part here is not really connected as well. You know, would have been nicer to have been all connected so it's tight. And then you got the rooftop here, which is actually kind of cool. I like how they did this part here. So there you go, that's this front. Let's look at the other front. This little guy is kind of cool, huh? You like me using this? It'll save a lot more time. I can get more videos out to you faster, I hope. Let me know in the comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe too. Thank you for subscribing. Let's carry on. So yeah, the failed flower is there. We come to the side right here and it's like, whoa. What kind of colors are these? I find the orange kind of goes with it okay. Yeah, it's just like I said, it's kind of like growing on me. So I'm like, at first I was like, oh, what are these crazy colors, man? Or maybe it's the butterflies in the chains again. That's just bothering me. So on this side, you got a couple of plants there on the floor. You got a simple bench, that water fountain again. And I like the window panels there. Am I missing another window piece there? It looks like I am. I just found a piece there. It's fixed. Man, that was a pain in the butt to take that all apart. But there you go. They did the same thing here with this little guy, making it look a little bit festive. Then we come up here, now it does kind of look like it's repeating on the other side. It's a little bit different. You do have a very, very, very small balcony here. You can't even go out there. And that's kind of the same thing here. Is there any differences between this and this, this and this here? I do like this design here, the little Aldi pieces. Those kind of cool. You know, I actually kind of think the brown color takes away from this. Without this, which when, when we take it off, you'll see it's almost too colorful down here. This kind of like even things out a little bit, I guess you could say. Hey, so not bad, right? Now there was a couple loose pieces. I put them back because, you know, transferring this from the car to my office, things are jiggling. Things are probably falling apart on the inside, but most of it held up pretty good. If I swing it to the back here, wow, it's like a mirror on both sides of these back walls. You do have the mounts for your standard modulars there, which is good. And just maybe a little bit of weird colors there, using different kind of bricks for the inside. And that's pretty much it for the back. That's all you need to see right there. It's funny, someone mentioned on my social media that this looks like a great expansion set for the Sesame Street. Maybe I should bring the characters down here, throw them on this thing and be like, sunny day, sweeping the clouds away, on my way to where the air is sweet. Can we take this ride off and go to Sesame Street? Yes, we can, how easy was that? Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. When you look at it from this perspective and you're first building this, you're kind of like, oh, the colors are whacked out, man. But now it's grown on me, so it's all good. Ooh, there's a couple little gaps here. I think it's intentional like that. Hope I didn't miss anything there. It's a little bit holy. You know, you can fill it up yourself. Wait, look on the inside of this. Besides these two little flowers, which I'm going to move, we can go like this and be like, ah, bam, 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 bam. Dun, 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 dun. Can you feel it? It's giving me a little bit of an urge vibe right there with the bake shop. Let's just start with the grocery store. Excuse me. 
So we come in the doors there. Nice flooring, pink and white. Very colorful. We saw the display on the outside. Now here's a nice POV of it on the inside. Now above the door, I think they could like tile that off or you could probably use some spare pieces to fill that in if, if it's too holy above the door there for you. You got some stools and tables. You're gonna slide right off those things. There's no studs. At least two of them have some food and drinks on them. Look at the pretty signs along the top. That's cute. It's all printed. $4 for a lollipop, $9 for a cake, $6 for donuts, $8 for a cupcake. There's a very simple counter right there. You know, at least one minifigure can kind of fit back there. And you got a back room there. That's cool how they put a see-through panel there so you can kind of see back there. Boy, you can't get your fingers back there at all. If I can't do it, you can't do it. Once you put the staircase inside there, we're gonna have to use a pair of tweezers to get down there. That's the kitchen. Hey, cool. You can see where they're making the cakes there. All the cabinets are all empty. And that refrigerator style that we saw in the flower shop. And let's walk inside to this 24 hour shop. Oh man, it's crammed. It's like a pawn shop. It is so tight. You really can't get your hands in there. You can't even really show it off. It's so tight. But the cool thing is it's got a lot of little items inside there. You got some binoculars and mugs and speaker, stereo, some crystals down there, some purses and handbags. What kind of a 24 hour shop is this? They even have a doggy for sale down there. Hello doggy. That's different. Got a little lamp by the door and you got a back shelf there with some more miscellaneous bricks to make it as items and some lips, gray lipsticks, man. No, it's not what you think it is, all right? Gray lipsticks. There's the shop sign. It's open 24 hours. I was like, what's the L stand for? Oh, that's the clock hand, excuse me. So we come in here and this is the start of the bookstore. Yo, the funny thing is though, all the doors are actually fine. They're not even loose. Well, that's good. But anyway, we come into this bookstore here and I love the tiles, that is hilarious. Now, I'm pretty sure they took these prints from other known sets. Why did they have to do that, man? They're going original, they should have just went original with the prints. Maybe they didn't know what to base off the tiles or what to do with that. So, you know, you got the news there. I'm not sure where that set is from. But for sure, Bumblebee Man, Simpsons, Neo before Zod, Superman, and then Harry Potter, Akkaban. I guess they're trying to do a comic book thing here and they're like, oh, just use those prints, you know, but you know, it would have been safer to use original prints. And you got a bookshelf there, very simple to build. That's to prepare you for building a lot, man. So, you know, that's your warm up right there. Got a little back wall there with a couple more prints. The 5G network again and a proposal. What's that one from? That one might be new. I don't think I've seen that. So you do have a door there that goes into the cake shop. So now you can read your book, go buy a cake, go eat. In the corner, you got the cash register there, a little plant. And I think that's like an umbrella holder. They just put that there. And you got the staircase. Staircase is fine, it's dirty. They should have just done it like this for all the other sets. A couple more signs here. New books this week and the bookstore. What do you guys think so far? You ready for the second floor of this grocery store? Good thing is, everything comes off nice and easy. Ah, look at that. It's a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, a lot of aisles. It's like the perfect supermarket for you guys. Because it's a grocery store. Psych! See, I told you, man. This is the bookstore 2.0. Where's the groceries, Zing Bao? You lie. I forgot to mention the bottom floor, but this floor is fully tiled as well. So that is one good thing about this. So you come up the stairs and hit these bookshelves. They all repeat. That's gonna take you some time. Let me give you some advice. Just put any piece color you want for that part. Just get it over with. I'm not quite sure why they have this piece hanging by the stairs. I wasn't even sure if something was supposed to hang off there or not. You got one, two, three, four, five, six bookshelves. Some that stick out into the room. They could have done a lot more to that. They should have just stuck with actually being a grocery store. I would have liked to have seen it different, but it feels like they're just playing it safe. All right, you only got a couple plants down there. Very minimal. Thank you, no branches and flowers popping off. And you got two more tables here that are repeating exactly the same prints down below, but different color. That's the fastest room to review, man. There's actually not much more in this room at all. Sturdy, nothing's gonna fall apart, you see? Somebody, uh... And you can see all the support underneath there. Nice colors. Makes me want to eat something. Ice cream sandwich or something. So on the side, you got a balcony that is very small with one plant there. You can actually fit a figure next to it. Take the plant out and just let the figures hang out. Probably be fine that way. 
You got a couple steps that leads into this balcony here, which is not really a balcony. You can't do anything there. You know, just above the windows there, you have like some pieces that come in. Maybe you can put more spare pieces on there. Put some flowers on there. Okay, so that's the same staircase down below. It's pretty secure. No issues with that. Maybe it's because they called it a grocery store. I'm just bugged like, where's the groceries? Maybe it's on the next floor up. Let's take a look at the last floor. Take the rooftop off here. Oh, it comes off nice there. You know, I don't know if you guys are ready for this because boy, boy, think it's a grocery store. Ah, what? What thing about? What is that? So you cover the staircase, more books. Oh, I got so many books there. Okay, great. Tile floor, but chairs and tables? For what? Oh, we get, I guess we're just gonna read here, right? That's really plain, man. I think they could have done a lot more to this floor. Well, I guess you guys are gonna have to strip that out and make your own mock on this floor. So this is like the library, I guess, where you just chill out, hang, talk, talk about where the groceries are. Where are the groceries? And you got the two balconies out there. Unfortunately, which they didn't think of this either. Why didn't they think of this stuff? This door opens okay, but no point there. They should have sealed that off, make it a window, man. This one, actually blocked by the chair. I can't open the door. How am I supposed to get out? Oh, what do you guys think of this floor? Could they have done more to it? They couldn't use this. You'll be done with this floor real fast when you build. Now we finally come to this rooftop, which I actually enjoyed building this. It's pretty simple, man. Not too much to go crazy about there. It wasn't tedious. It was okay. It was like, fine. This structure, it's not really built in properly. It's not really secured down. If you push down on it, it'll just pop off. But I like this side, the back. Here, let me get my DJI. Yeah, the back here actually opens up pretty good. So if I go, oh, if I can grab it, you go, what? How nice is that? That's kind of cool. Got one little pipe there and a chimney, I guess. What is this? Oh, this is the the room to go back downstairs where there's nothing to come up the stairs. The mysterious shed. You know, that I don't really care for too much. So you're scratching your head going, Scotty, you let me down, man. This one's not a grocery store. But actually, it's not that bad. It's just not a grocery store. It's a bookstore, man. What do I think? It's actually pretty okay. Like, yeah, as I mentioned, it just kind of grew on me. Is it easy to put together? Yeah. Do all the pieces look okay? You know, some of the some of the brown bricks might have a little bit of discoloration. You know, uh, if I go here, you can yeah, you can kind of definitely see some discoloration there. You don't even see the back. You just mostly see here. Do you see some discoloration there? It's not really too noticeable. Put your modulus on the back and hide the back of the thing. Goes together very nicely. You see, nothing falling apart there. Snaps together nicely. Nothing going out of whack. While I'm here, let's just do dimensions and a quick comparison. Let me get out the flower shop for you guys. You know, I probably have already put this on my Instagram. Oh, the flower shop. So you know you can't mount the flower shop on this side. But you can certainly do it on the other side. So we'll put this here, here, and go like that. Kabam! And they are together. Now the flower shop is actually still taller than this one. If I break out my one by four bricks, slide it in between, it just touches the chimney part there. That's like 41 bricks in height, like really close to it. it might be just slightly over. The flower shop still crowns over it. Even if you were to count just only the rooftop part, the flower shop's still taller than it. All right, so move this out of the way. Dude, you know what I just realized? I'm gonna run out of room real fast. I'm gonna have, probably have to dismantle some of these and sell them to you guys. Second hand modulars from Scotty Hoy. Missing pieces, warped plates. Yes. Mm. Yeah, you don't want to show off the back for this one for sure. What else would go with this one? Anything else? Let's get the dingo. Post office. Ugh. I can have the sandwiches in between. Well, that's the back side of the post office. That's what happens when we start combining different brands with each other. You know, you can certainly do it like this way. Here we go, whoosh, whoosh. What's up, kabam. 
Or maybe flip this right now. As you like this. Go. Pretend I can't mount on that side, Scotty. Oh no. I have to go like this. Oh, I broke that rooftop flower shop rooftop. You suck. Oh man, you have to do you have to do this thing like a triangle, like the trifecta. I can't even see it on the camera. Now I'm your cameraman. There you go. Well, that's a cool shot if I go. Whee! Oh no, that looks so good. Holy smokes, man. Did I really build that much? Let me take a photo with this with my phone. Yeah, I almost forgot the set comes from minifigures and I haven't even built them yet. Here they are. This is what they look like. That's all you need to see because they're just kind of like whatever. All right, I'll build them for you. I'll show you the figures. And we're gonna drop this set. And I have two more to build. What you, which ones you guys want me to build? Go on my Facebook and my social media and let me know, it's on there. We have the restaurant and the toy shop, but I have like 10 other modulars to build now and review for you guys. Okay, minifigure time, let's do this. So they are repeating some of the figures from the other sets. You know, this is the same guy from the flower shop. He's just walking over to go to the grocery store. We'd be like, where's the store? Oh, I'll just have some donuts. You got this guy who's kind of like the equivalent of the groom from the last set, but now he's just reading books here. He looks fine. Nice tie. He's holding this tile though, printed. Anderson's fairy tale tile. Then you got Lumberjack Joe here, plaid shirt. I'm not quite sure what he's doing here, but there you go. Oh, look cool. This is the chef. Yeah, I like his tall hat. That's the good thing about this guy. At least you got a chef for this. We have no employees for the grocery store. Oh, maybe this guy is. He looks old with his white beard. Okay. Gray hair. He looks weird. Okay, there he is. And you got this lady, the worker from the flower shop. Now she's over here. Hi, telling them to put more flowers in this shop. Finally, you got this kid. Looks just fine. You know, I mentioned many times in these kind of videos. Throw these guys in your spare piles and use your own figures. Now, just for kicks, here's Bert and Ernie from Sesame Street, the official Lego one. And they're kind of just checking out this bookstore. So, you know, they're the closest things I know to human minifigures. So you can kind of see them to the scale here. Let me know what you think. Does that look cool? Does it look more like a Sesame Street thing going on? There's Bert. He's like, eh, what's up with these plants? But hey, at least you get an idea for scaling here. Let's go find Ernie. Ernie's like, I can barely sit on this bench. That's a bad voice impression. But there's Ernie hanging out there. Here are the guys inside the bake shop. So you, you should have some room in there, so that's good. You know, Ernie's there behind the counter, just chilling, barely. They're enjoying their cakes, cupcakes, and all that stuff. Ernie, of course, can fall off that stool very easily. You can barely see Ernie's eyes, hee <laughs> hiding behind the cupcakes. Here they are in the 24 hour shop, the tightest shop in the world. Where's the doggy, man? Doggy's gone. Ernie's like, I can be the dog. Thank goodness for the DJI, I can just get him in there. I don't even know if this is in focus or not. But there, that's very tight, that amount of room. All right, let's go check out this bookstore. Why is the focusing always from there we go. Yeah, focusing is kind of weird on this little guy. I gotta get used to this. I, I can't get too close. I gotta get a new lens for this thing. Anyway, better room here. The amount of space that they can move in. So that's good. And there's Bert checking out the comic books. And there's Ernie about to go up to the second floor, which is over there. You ready to go over there, guys? Let's go check it out. Here they are on the second floor. They're looking for the groceries. Hey, uh, Bert, where's the groceries? Yeah, man, that's terrible. I haven't heard these guys' voices in like almost 30 years, man. Whee! It's like a maze in there. Okay, so you get the idea of the room. Bert is ready to go to the third floor. Meanwhile, Ernie is just chilling here on the balcony where he can't go out. Sorry, Ernie, man. You have to stay right there. Hello, 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 hello. Well, there they are on the third and last floor discussing about what to do next. What are you guys gonna do? And where are you gonna go? 
Look at all that room in there. Ready to go back to Sesame Street? Yes, he is. All right. And what about Bert? Oh, hanging out of this balcony. So how are you gonna get to the rooftop? The last place we gotta go check out. Oh, magically. That's right, because there is no staircase to go up there. Here the boys are on the rooftop. What do you think? Does it look like it's a good rooftop? A little bit plain? Well, you wanna know where this door goes to? It'll take them back to Sesame Street, right? So get in there, guys. Go in there. Oh, you can fit two figures inside? Oh, Bert's head's kind of big, yeah. Come on, Bert. Close this thing. Ah, ah, there we go. Close enough. See you guys later. Enjoy Sesame Street. And goodbye. Video's done. It's time to drop this thing. And I'm just about to review this one. A lot of you are waiting for this one. It's a beautiful set, man. But anyway, enough of that. It's time to destroy this thing. I think it'll be pretty solid. What's gonna fall off? Flowers. I don't know. Chairs. Benches. Let's find out right now. Here we go. Lift this puppy up. Oh, man, this has got some weight. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Gosh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that, man. Lucky it didn't fall off the entire table. Anything on the inside? Let me flip this upside down on the first floor. Oh, the staircase kind of fell apart. Doggy fell out there. Okay, staircase. This piece again from this upper floor that holds the bottom floor, which didn't quite hold. Oh man, the second and the third floor is like, seriously, it's hanging off the edge. Something just got pulled off there, what got pulled off? Oh, what is that from? Where's this from? I don't remember this. Oh, this is the, the rooftop piece is gone, guys. I guess it was from that. Nothing fell down here inside. That's good. Oh look, wow. Like maybe I didn't push it down hard enough when I was getting ready to drop this. Oh, well, that's a surprise. So it's just a couple minor pieces. Great! Oh, man, if that second and third floor would have fell off the table, it would have been fun putting it all back together. Thank, thank you for saving it. Thank goodness I cleaned the office. So just that top piece came flying off. Well, this shouldn't be too long to put back together. You know, I'm just too lazy to move the camera right now. The audio probably sounds better like this. It's not sandwiched between these two that are available in my store, as always. BigBimpScotty.com. Calm. Calm. So thank you so much for joining, watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. I hope I can get videos for you faster. I'll try that new camera out and, you know, we'll play around with little ideas here and there. So you still get me, you still get the set, but you get a lot more of it. Is that good or is that bad? All right, you guys. Until next time. Break me out. Peekaboo. 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 That's what happens when you have kids, man. You start getting all into that stuff. <laughs>